On this week's breaking news, BTS is coming to make some music with its LEGO Ideas set. LEGO has released two more sets for Disney to celebrate its 100th anniversary, and that's just a few of the news items we'll be talking about today, so stick around. But first, I want to talk about a really cool store, a Brick Monarch Shop. This website is designed for all those AFLs out there that are looking for some great t-shirts with classic logos, some home decor you can put on your walls, such as shields, and some other great iconic aspects from the LEGO history. You can head over to the link in our description for Brick Monarch Shop, and you can get a discount of 10% off using Back to Brick 10. That's Back to Brick 10, the number two, so head over there so you can get some really cool AFL swag. All right, now let's get to the breaking news. Hey everybody, welcome back to Back to Brick. I'm your host Garrett, and this is the podcast where we talk with fellow AFLs about Lego, their LEGO designs, Lego. and we get down to the breaking news every Friday to talk about all the things LEGO has been up to breaking for news. the past week. Breaking Thank news. you for tuning into the breaking podcast news. as always. Breaking if you're not news. subscribed, please do so on your favorite podcast listening service, and leave us a review. I, Well, me, a review. I would really appreciate it because the more reviews we have, and we can get... Uh, connected to more people around the world. It's great to see all the different listeners. I have a lot of trackers that show where around the globe a lot of people are listening from, a lot are in the United States and England and Australia and Brazil, surprisingly. Some really cool countries, and I'm really proud to have reached so many people around the world. We're coming up on almost 100,000 downloads of the podcast, which is crazy. We're coming up on our third year as well. That'll be in April, so we'll do a big celebration for that. And yeah, it's just been a, an amazing journey so far, and we continue to hopefully push it as we just reached 50,000 followers on Instagram as well. And hopefully, I'm trying to reach 100,000. I really need to get into the Reels game here, so I think I'll probably do a couple of those today. And in general, we just have a bunch of LEGO news because, well, LEGO is just pushing harder and harder to get more and more sets out, which is a problem for most of us that are looking to purchase those sets because we are running out of money. On some personal news, we're almost to 10,000 votes. I think I have 600 or 500 left of the 10,000 needed for the LEGO Amethyst Geode. So if you haven't shared that or told your friends to vote, please do so. My wife hasn't voted yet because her account doesn't seem to be working. We'll get there. Uh, we've planned to try to make her the last vote. I don't know if that'll be possible, but we're going to do our best. Another thing I've been hard at work on are a lot of the BrickLink Designer Program sets. It's... Uh, I think I'm into three right now. I submitted one already and I have two more, but it's coming down to two weeks left to submit them. And it does take a couple days for them to get approved. And sometimes they do get sent back because they need some modifications. So if you haven't submitted yours yet, this is the time to do so. You have two weeks left and they can become Lego sets. It's similar to how Lego Ideas works, but this one's more crowd supported and funded. And I think they only pick the top five of those that are submitted after, of course, the... Um, review process. I'm going to post the link of mine on in the description once the um, public vote has, public support has gone up. So I would love your support in that as well. And stick around after the episode for our Lego set review. This time it'll be 80008, the Monkey Kids Cloud Jet. All right, I think I've talked long enough today. Let's get into the breaking news. During this past Sunday was the Super Bowl, and the Kansas Chiefs won this uh, Super Bowl. A lot of people wanted the Eagles to win. I didn't have a stake in either team, and uh, it was an okay game. We don't really care about major sports. Our friends do, so we got to hang out with them and watch the game. But in that, there was a commercial for the new Guardians of the Galaxy. They showed a teaser because, well, it's $7 million every 30 seconds. So they just showed like, hey, go check out this full trailer because two minutes would be a lot. So you can go to YouTube. And they showed a lot of new, um, well, set pieces, including, well, now I'll lead into Lego sets. There are three new Lego sets for the Guardians of the Galaxy movie. And the first one is the Guardians of the Galaxy Headquarters. It's 67 pieces. It'll be available April 1st. And it comes at a cost of, uh, let's see, I think it's $15. Yeah. Um, and it's pretty small. It does come with Groot, Swole Groot. He actually has like shoulder pads that make him look bigger. And uh, Star-Lord himself. And if you watch the Christmas special and know their new headquarters is in nowhere, I don't know if they'll be spending a lot of time there. But it's interesting that they did get that. Maybe they got it when 
the collector i think passed away well when the stones were collected i I can't remember for sure the other one is baby groot's uh, excuse me baby rockets ship it's 330 pieces april 1st for 300 uh or excuse me 335 dollars it's a very interesting shape kind of like a um a little bike or um what would you say almost blade runner style of vehicle it comes with rocket and as well as baby rocket and that's a selling point for me just a tiny little raccoon it's just super cute and the last is the new guardian ship as it's called or in the movie it's called the bowie Uh, they probably couldn't use it maybe because bowie has i don't know if he has uh, i ip on his name that'd be interesting april 1st it's a hundred dollars so it's quite a lot uh it's 1108 pieces it does come with pretty much the whole gang um and also including uh adam warlock who is uh, i think one of the bigger antagonists not the main antagonist but he's definitely gonna throw some curveballs in it's a pretty interesting ship it's in a turquoise and um, maroon color so if you think back to the lego movie 2 that's kind of the style that i think they were going for i'm really interested in this movie it's going to be a tearjerker for sure we already had uh lost yondu the last movie and this one i think we're going to lose a few more so we're not ready my wife was already tearing up uh from the trailer so if you haven't seen the trailer i'll post it in the description and then you can check out uh, a similar how the ships look on the back to break.com blog Lego has found its newest Lego Master for the Lego Discovery Center. There's a new one opening in the D.C. area in northern Virginia at the Springfield uh, Mall, and they needed a Lego Master, someone that'll build the major sets and be there to support and just be a great representation for the Lego brand. And a man named Andrew Litterst was chosen. He had to go through a pretty rigorous uh application process but he's well known for a lego star wars spaceship mounted on an electric lego train that chases each other on a track around the room i don't know if you've seen it before i think it's similar to like the trench run and it's very cool because they have um, darth vader flying after luke skywalker so he's like uh, well, maybe I should try this. He's been a lot of different things. Uh, he's a part. He was a park ranger, an interpreter, a colonial Williamsburg, and a science teacher. And after that, he's uh, leaving after eight years. And he's been uh, well in this contest or competition. It's uh, called the uh, Lego. Excuse me, the Brick Factor. Um, last weekend, and his job, he had three different tasks. The first one was to, in 30 minutes, create a Super Bowl-themed Lego build, a theme they knew about in advance. The next one was a surprise challenge, was a build of space-themed Lego scene in 30 minutes. And then his last challenge was to elaborate, build an elaborate three-piece creation meant to represent himself, all in 60 minutes. After doing that and uh, creating something that, well, impressed everybody, uh, he was given a uh, shower of Lego bricks, a bright yellow Lego trophy, and a hard hat, and the new job. So he became a Lego master to become someone that's represented well at the Lego Discovery Center. I'm excited to see it in person. I probably will have to wait for an a full night, but I'll probably go with my lug. And if you're in the area in DC, this is you can go meet him and have a great time with your kids, bringing them to the Lego Discovery Center to enjoy Lego and all his different activities. We've heard rumors about the new diorama set for the Jabba throne room. And this would be, I think, our third throne room. And it's... Uh, it, it'll be interesting because I wonder if they'll bring back the Jabba mold or a newer one. And depending on how big it is, um, there was another rumor that it is going to also have a new Ender helmet. Uh, I think that that is no longer the case. Uh, it suggested that this will come out sometime in spring and be about a thousand pieces. Um, it, it'll have different parts for sure that we know, but hopefully a little bit different design Um, Maybe the sliding back of his chair to reveal the cage for the Rancor pit would be cool. And maybe the band. I would love to see the full band on the side there. In general, the dioramas have been really good. I'm excited to see what they come up with for the next round, including this. But there will probably be more. Maybe a Hoth set would be really cool. Not just the Hoth helmet, as it was rumored. And we can enjoy more of the scenes from LEGO Star Wars. 
Netflix has housed a lot of Lego specials and series on its streaming service, but a lot of them are going to be leaving. In March, March 16th, we're going to see a lot of them leaving because they are part of the Marvel, DC, and Jurassic World universe, which are not owned by uh, Netflix. So some of them that we've seen are going to be leaving is the Marvel Superheroes Maximum Overload, the Avengers Reassemble, Gardens of the Galaxy, Black Panther, and Vexed by Venom. In the DC titles, the Batman B uh, leaguered, um, and some other ones such as the Indominus Escape, Secret Exhibit, and Lego of uh, the Legend of East Blar. Well, I can't say that. Some of the other ones that are not leaving are the Friend series, Bionicle Cities, uh, Elves, and Ninjago. These ones are staying on for the time being, but I wonder when they will be purchased or swept up by some of the other streaming services to have them put on their system, since Lego is going to probably want them to consolidate and put them on a different... Well, I don't know. I guess they could keep them there. I guess we'll find out. A new Lego idea set was revealed. This is the BTS Dynamite idea set. It's coming in at a rate, uh, piece count of 749 pieces at 18 plus. It's going to cost $100. It does come with all seven of the band minifigures. It is uh, an interesting set for sure. They have an ice cream truck. They have a disco logo logoed area with a donut shop. Um, it comes with a full stage once you turn it around. It's a it's an interesting set. It really reminds me of um, well, what do you call it? Uh, the uh, Queer Eye set, very catered to a specific um, grouping of people. It did get ten thousand votes on Lego Ideas, so it means that a lot of people are interested in purchasing it. I wonder just how well it will do. It is very niche, that K-pop, which is extremely popular for sure. And those that love that and Lego are definitely going to be very happy with this. But I expect it will go on a discount in the next, um, well, uh, I'd say like six to eight months. We'll see it in a discount. If you like it, our BTS fan, this is a really fun set. And you can have it displayed with all the minifigures of your favorite band members. Today is the release of Ant-Man Quantum Mania, and there's usually one set that comes out for Ant-Man or some of these other sets. Black Panther used to have, I think, one or two, and they came out with a few more for this latest movie. But this one is the Ant-Man construction figure, and it is similar to the other construction figures like the Iron Man and a few others. This one comes with a large-scale um, uh Ant-Man with the Wasp mini or trophy figure. I guess it's a micro figure. I, I never know exactly what they call it. It's going to be released on May 1st at $30 and 289 pieces. So it's it's uh, it's up there in the piece count pricing. I'm surprised that they are releasing it May 1st. Usually they release it prior to the movie. So I wonder. It, well, they say it's Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantum Mania. Maybe I'm mistaken on that. I, I don't know. But it's 8 plus set. It does look nice. The helmet is well designed for what we know of the Ant-Man uh, helmet. And overall, it's one of the better figures, I'd say. The Iron Man one's not the best, but it's good for modding, as there are some cool mods out there you can build it with. If you are interested in collecting all the Ant-Man sets, there's only three. So this is the third one in the series that you can um, have and have all the different sizes of Ant-Man. Disney has done these storybooks before, and they're pretty small style set where it looks like well a book and it tells a story of a very well-known disney story and this one is peter pan and wendy so it has the both the figures i think they're coming out with either a tv show or a new movie for this it's expected to release sometime in 2023 as the movie on disney plus is going to be coming out i'm it's cool i guess i'm not a big fan of these it doesn't look like it has many pieces and it's a five plus so something that would be good for like our niece or nephew Two more rumored Lego Disney 100th anniversary sets are coming out. One is the Adventure Park, and another is Painting with Mickey. I'm not sure if um, what they'll be designed like. The Adventure Park probably will be a tribute to some of the rides or the Adventure Park area of Disney World or Disneyland. And the Painting with Mickey, as far as the rumors go, is it's going to be similar to an art piece, but it might be uh, in style of like... Um, an animation style or the sketch of Mickey and maybe some others that you can modify it with. 
who knows how many minifigures, but I'm excited to see uh, all these Disney ones. I hope that they do come out with another castle, like the classic, um, I think it's, it's, uh, Sleeping Beauty's castle because Cinderella's castle is the one that they came out with for Disney World and it's a continued celebration so we'll see how that goes I know that they're having a rough time at Disney I worked at Disney for about three months and I did have an offer to work there but I it wasn't right for us we are going to stay in our, our home in Maryland with another job maybe in the future but right now I'll just enjoy the Lego sets and the celebration of Disney And some more Disney news. We have two sets that did get revealed. uh, The one is Disney's Celebration Train. This is a four plus set and it comes with a bunch of little minifigures and the train style kind of like they did for the floats in the Chinese New Year sets. This one comes with Mickey, Minnie, um, Peter Pan, Tinkerbell, Woody and Moana. And I think this is the first time they have Moana in a mini figure scale, not the uh, friends figure scale. So if you want to collect all those and if you want to collect the Mickeys, which uh, unfortunately I want to start doing, this is another set that it's going to be hard collecting this. I know that some other expensive ones, such as the Disney train, had a Mickey and that's very expensive. So I unfortunately I have to put a lot of my money towards sets. So it's <laughs> it's definitely really hard to do. But and this is a fun four plus set. And the other one is actually a call to Pixar. This is Up House. Um, so it comes with three minifigures and the Up House with balloons on the top. It comes with Russell, uh, the old man, which I never, or Mr. Um, uh, Cle- nope, I don't remember. Cleesack? No, that can't be right. And Doug, which Doug is a really cool figure. It does also come with the um, storybook and uh, the balloons that you put on the roof. It's a nice set. I think it's pretty expensive. It's $60 for not as many pieces, but the three minifigures are definitely iconic as they are mostly new molds. Oh, new designs and then the new mold for Doug. So uh, for all those Pixar fans that love Up, this is a really fun set to get. A Lego designer by the name of George Gillent decided he loves the box art for some classic sets, but he wanted to update them. So he took some time to draw them and create the uh, iconic image of what the train looks like. Excuse me, not the train, but a train and then the Rock Raiders set um, and using some minifigures, changing them into people. The sets still have a similar design as their Lego uh, style sets, but they are more molded together. The Granite Grinder is the one he did, and the uh, Emerald Knight, so they're what he calls real world. They're beautiful, and I want to buy them, or I want him to do one for me. I don't know if he'll ever do that. I, I know he's done a few of the other ones, and hopefully he'll do some more to share with us on his Twitter account, which I will post in the description so you can check out some more. The Lego House comes out with a lot of exclusive sets, and one that is expected to come out is this new large-scale figure build. So like the Harry Potter and Hermione large minifigures that um, were, I don't know if they were a hit, I don't think they were, they were kind of cool, they had some interesting pieces, but they went on discount pretty heavily when you could go uh, later this past year. And it looks like they're going to create the classic um, Pirate Man um, a tribute at the Lego house. Um, he'll have a peg leg and a pirate hat. There have been some leaked images. I'm excited to see how much it will cost as we are going to the Lego house here soon. I'm going to be dropping a lot of money on these sets, so I'm excited to see, well, how they will um, actually stack up in person and stack up in a box that I will have to ship home. So this will be a fun experience, and I can't wait to see this one, and um, we'll bring it back to the States because it's really hard to get them over here anyways. If you're a big fan of the botanical series and cafes, then you're in luck. And, well, you have to travel, but if you want to go to Taiwan, Lego has created this really cool limited-time Lego installment, the Lego Botanical Collection Cafe. The Uh, It was documented by Yang Cheng on Google Maps. The cafe seems to mostly focus on providing interesting spots to take pictures, showcasing the different designs. And they have a Lego logo in it, as well as some art pieces that they have on the windows. The installment is a really cool addition to how Lego promotes their brand. 
I would love to see these in America and to continue doing that just similar to like how you uh, have the cat cafes. You could have Lego cafes where people can build with the Lego bricks and just have fun while they grab a cup of coffee or tea. Another gift with purchase is on the way. This one's going to be a Lego moving truck. The moving truck has a lot of really cool things that, well, you might need to move, such as a um, piano, some art pieces, a, um, uh, what do they call it? Jukebox. And the truck itself is kind of an old school truck. It does have um, moving um, uh, global box on it and a red style truck. I think it's only for one minifigure itself, but it should be gift with purchase here in the next month or so. Or, well, I think it starts at the end of February as the last one is going to be ending then too. It's with a purchase most likely of $100 um, of Lego. So if you want to continue to collect more and more of the gift with purchase, this is your next chance. Lego lands are supposed to be all inclusive for all types of kids and people. And Lego is taking that to heart and use when conjunction with the Merlin company who runs a Lego land, they're promoting uh, that they're going to work with the board of credentialing and continuing education standards to help make all the Lego lands in the United States certified autism centers. And what they did is they're creating these new guides where it's a sensory guide. So they have touch, taste, sound, sight, smell at different levels that will help um, families that have autistic children or autis uh, autistic relatives to understand where they'll best fit and understand the environment. The Legoland resorts are designed to inspire creativity amongst children of all abilities. Our ride experience and entertainment all foster a child's imagination through a le lens of belonging, the CEO of the Merlin Company says. With one in 44 children diagnosed with autism in the United States, we wanted to build uh, understanding and empathy while using enduring while also ensuring our team have the tools and supporters strategy with engaging in the neurodiverse population. I've actually never heard of this. I didn't know there was a sensory guide. So it's, it's great to see that they're trying to do this and promoting the creative and engagement of all types of kids to enjoy Lego. I believe we've talked about this before, but Lego has teamed up with Ferrari to create some new experiences at the Legoland facilities. At Legoland Billund and Legoland Windsor, they're going to be working with Ferrari to do a build and race where you can build and test and race your very own Lego Ferrari. They have different tracks that you can uh, build on and race other people in your family. These vehicles, you can do competitions and you can even hold up a Lego uh, number one trophy next to a cool minifigure. Ferrari has always been a really good team with Lego and with their latest Ferrari um, what was, I don't remember the name, Daytona, that's what it is, the Ferrari Daytona. This is just a fun engagement at the Legoland parks that'll make all kids enjoy Ferraris and want one in the future, and hopefully they can afford one, because I know I never will. The Lego Corporation is always out to help everyone around the world, specifically in disasters, and they did some great work and support in the COVID um, pandemic time, donated, uh, having massive donations. And for the earthquake that happened in Turkey and Syria, they decided to donate $800,000 um, to the Danish Red Cross to support emergency relief efforts. We are deeply concerned with the situation in Turkey and Syria after two earthquakes devastated communities. In both countries, we stand in solidarity with the people of Turkey and Syria impacted by the disaster. So that's a wonderful addition to helping the support. This has been over a week since it happened, and it's definitely been a devastating um, point for that country as well as around the world, understanding that this can happen uh, anywhere. And well, not, I guess not anywhere, but well, I mean, anywhere. They had an earthquake in Buffalo, New York, which doesn't really sit on a fault line. All in all, it's it, it's hard, and the human life lost is definitely something that we all have to pay attention to to create safer buildings and understand how to educate those in the case of something like this happening. And that's all the breaking news we have this week. Thank you so much. I cannot wait to continue telling you more and more Lego news as we're going to see 
constant change as we get into the spring this is where a lot of the sets come out and definitely in the star wars realm since it'll be may the 4th sooner rather than later now we're going to dive into our set review this one is going to be the monkey kids cloud jet it's a cost of 59.99 it's an age group of eight plus 529 pieces it'll get you 390 vip points and item number 80008 this comes with four minifigures and a, a brick separator in the turquoise color and of course the the cloud jumper itself Interesting enough, it does have a front wheel on it, so I'm expecting there's a couple more wheels so that you can have some really good play interaction features. If you've never seen or know about Monkey Kid, it's um, it's a television series and I think comic book as well that is uh, part of uh, a growing brand similar to Ninjago. The four minifigures are uh, A, the Monkey Kid, Red Sun, and Growl. I am not sure who these characters are, as I do not watch Monkey Kid, but they have a really interesting mold. One is a headphones for around the neck of the Monkey Kid, and the Growl actually has kind of a bull shape helmet. That's interesting. Um, Ali actually also has a jetpack that looks like it's running away from the Monkey Kid, so I'm guessing she's not that great. The set in itself is pretty dynamic. It does have these cantilevered style wings that have the engines on it in either side. The cool thing about the engines is the internal vents that uh, when it sucks in air, I believe that they're the uh, guardrail um, pieces on Lego. So they're in black, but they're sideways to create that fin style look. Um, most of these Monkey Kid sets definitely have a, an interactive like... Uh, unique design to them i'd say i don't i don't really know how to explain it in the different ways um it steampunked uh asian influence i i guess i i'm not i i'm really bad at this so i have the description or i have the file that you can buy in the description so you can go check it out and what's cool is the wheels that i talked about before his jet actually will eject a um, motorbike from it so it has that cool secondary play feature to it i uh, i like that they do that i've always enjoyed sets like that kind of like the agents uh, series where you had a truck that was a spy uh, headquarters and having it such a, a set that's 60 bucks and 530 pieces it's still a little pricey but i think it, it's definitely a fun interactive play feature um, included in it and having those specific minifigures um, and oh it actually I, I can also say this has a rating of four and a half stars for six people uh, rating it which it doesn't get rated all the time that's interesting to see that there's at least even six on that I know the sets that are really bad they they rate pretty uh, aggressively so if you're into the monkey kid or have want uh, to get into this series this is a an E, not an easy set it's a it's a good starter set and having the play feature for it definitely adds to that value and that's all the breaking news and our lego set review for the week thank you so much for tuning in make sure to subscribe to the podcast on your favorite podcast listening apps keep building and i'll leave you as i always do get creative get out there and go build something